Hi, it's been a while since I've uh, done a drive time rant and considering that I don't uh, drive anymore I thought I'd do a walk time rant. Uh, so here we go. Um, start out with some news. Huge, very sad news if you haven't heard it. I'm sure you will by the time this video goes up. Um, Steve Jobs, co-founder of uh, Apple, passed away sometime today, um, aged 56 years old. Absolutely terrible news. Uh, not terribly surprising. He was uh, very sick with cancer and uh, stuff. So rest in peace, Steve. So that brings me to uh, rant about Apple, I guess, um, and Steve himself. Uh, I don't know much about the company, but uh, basically they are now the world's biggest company. Go figure. They're worth more. They have more cash in the bank than the US Federal Reserve. They're worth more money than the United States government. It's crazy. And uh, that's what Steve uh, wanted. He wanted to uh, make a dent in the universe. And that's one thing he certainly did. He uh, was um, basically revived the company from absolutely nothing. Um, uh, you know, bought it back from almost bankruptcy. I think it was only a couple of weeks away from bankruptcy, if you believe the rumours and things like that. And absolutely amazing job. He was the genius, the visionary behind the whole thing. Uh, and the genius who uh, convinced uh, everyone in the, um, in the recording industry uh, eventually to uh, do the whole iTunes thing and actually... Um, uh, actually release their music, go against what they've been doing for, I don't know, 50 or 60 years or more, uh, and actually get into the online music business. And he convinced them to do that, and that's where they made all their money, is uh, content. They made some brilliant devices, some of them failed, but uh, he certainly was the uh, guy behind the whole thing. And, uh, oops, got some traffic here. And, uh, it's, his name's on like um, you know, hundreds of patents for devices and various things as either the main inventor or the co-inventor or something like that. I don't know whether or not you believe those sort of things, but he certainly would have um, had a say, well, the say, in the design and the look and feel of every single product. And uh, sure, he didn't probably didn't actually design them. That was up to engineers like uh, you and me to actually um, come up with the uh, actual um, the actual manufacturing solutions to manufacture the look and feel of these things, the performance and the software people who write all the fancy user interface and that sort of stuff. And uh, will things change? Well, I think they have to. Um, if, because like uh, Steve hasn't been in charge of the company that I'm aware of for quite some time but um, uh, still um, it will go from basically him making every major strategic decision to um, basically designed by committee pretty much uh, I think so anyway um, that's that's just the way these things happen uh, when a company is you know all the major strategic decisions are in the hand of one person and that can either lead to massive, massive success in the case of Apple or massive failure in the case of <laughs> some company uh, I used to work for, let's say. Um, and uh, <laughs> it's, it's interesting that um, they, you know, that, that sort of uh, uh, concept can either, you know, make a company a winner or uh, kill it. And in this case, Apple's a winner. And, they won't fail overnight because Jobs is not around and things might be designed by committee from now on. But, you know, it, the magic's gone. The passion's gone. It just won't be the same. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not an Apple fanboy. But, uh, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I, I think the magic's probably gone. And the new guy, Tim Cook, um, I don't know. He just, it just won't be the same. And people have been saying that in the in industry. More traffic. How you doing? Mm -hmm. Probably wondering what I'm doing, talking to myself, uh, holding my monopod here, so you can see it. No, you probably can't see it, but anyway, I've got a monopod. And uh, where was I? Uh, yes, um, yeah, Tim Cook, brilliant. Um, as far as I know, brilliant uh, uh, 
business guy, but that doesn't do it. Steve had the business, um, you know, the uh, business nous and the product design nous, and more importantly, the uh, passion and the enthusiasm, the vision behind the whole thing. And you can't replace that. So you can't replace that with a committee. They'll, they'll, they'll do all right. Apple will still do all right, but yeah, the magic is gone. And uh, it's quite an amazing um, story, you know, booted out from um, Apple in 1985, I think. And then he went on to form uh, Next, which um, failed, but there was a few uh, visionary things which uh, came out of Next, which Apple ultimately bought, which became the operating system, I believe, um, or the new uh, Mac OS or something like that. And uh, the um, and then uh, Pixar, of course, where he made his billions back, made all his money back because he sold all his Apple shares in in protest, I think, back in the 80s when he was booted out. But uh, made his fortune again, sold Pixar, and uh, of course, with all those connections, was brought back to Apple and revived the company from nothing. Absolutely amazing story. Um, and sadly, he's gone. So. Uh, the only uh, founder left is uh, was, but there was another founder. Um, I don't know his name. Nobody ever remembers his name, but uh, he bailed out uh, quite early, so he's uh, never remembered in the history of these things. But uh, the was is still around, and uh, they're they're not going to bring back the was, of course, because the was is just an engineer, and uh, he just loves being an engineer, and that's just cool. That is just absolutely uh, awesome, and. Uh, so he won't be back um, and Apple will still continue to make, uh, you know, pretty darn good products, but they'll be designed more and more by committee, I think, anyway. So rest in peace, Steve Jobs, what a visionary. And uh, some more news, uh, not, a, not, a, not the best day for me at all, as you might know, I um, uh, had um, an office lined up which I was going to uh, buy and expand the EV blog lab into the office and uh, it was all lined up and uh, it was a done deal um, you know uh, sort of uh, uh, assurances had been uh, in place you know hands shaken that kind of thing and uh, the guy at the last minute who was uh, selling me the place pulled out and said no nope, don't want to sell anymore sorry and that just really sucks what a douche I mean if there's underlying you know if his circumstances suddenly changed or something like that then you can understand it but um, really it's just uh, you know it's just bad form and I don't like it and uh, let that be a lesson to you young people out there if you're uh, going to um, do things like this Honour your agreements, you know? Uh, just <laughs> don't be a douchebag. And when you made a commitment to do something, do it. Go through with it. Ah, unbelievable. Anyway, not a happy little camper. Ah, Got to start from square one, find another place. So I'll catch you next time.